Yeah, you can, he can avoid that. Yeah, uh, two, uh -huh. one. Hey, uh, camera four, you clear. are clear. Uh, Judge Mathis tapes on a set in Chicago, and if you're ever here, you can be a part of the audience for free. And as far as the cases, they're real, all of them. You'll never see another judge like Judge Mathis because his unique personality says it all. When I first started, I was trying to emulate the success of Judge Judy and the way she runs her court. And folks would uh, complain that I was a little too mean. So I figured Judge Judy could be mean, but I can't. Well, I shouldn't go out of my way to be somebody I'm not. Which works in his favor because Mathis wouldn't be able to get away with nearly half as much as he does on his show from when he served as a superior judge for Michigan's 36th district. They would say, Judge Mathis, we've gotten complaints from uh, your conduct. <laughs> this is a dignified and uh, very uh, serious <laughs> court because he doesn't believe the child is his. Okay. Otherwise, he certainly would be paying because he got plenty of money. Believe that. <laughs> believe that. All right. This court is now in session. And through all the 18 years of doing his show, his relationship with his bailiff, Doyle, sends a message that says it's okay to be different. Our exchange with each other shows that those from different backgrounds, yet we're able to communicate and enjoy each other and enjoy a sincere friendship. And I think it's uh, indicative of what we could see in uh, all of society and the inclusiveness. And if there's any advice from such a successful judge and TV star, it would be to stay educated. I was an ex-offender and I stayed in college until I had my record expunged. So I tell many ex-offenders and when they say, well, I can't get anything in society, I say, well, get a PhD, stay in school until you do. Now, if you're gonna drop out, no, don't invest in yourself.